Good morning, my lovely Aries. Welcome to your monthly reading. We have a lot of things to go through. First of all, as always, take what resonates, leave the rest, flip the roles. You can be male, you can be female. And you can see this whenever it comes to you. My readings are always timeless. Actually, one thing that I was guided to was to actually take a card already. Now. <laughs> There's things going on in the main building. Okay, so I just take my selenite and put on it for a second. And I have all my notes so that we can go through everything that I got for you. But first thing first. This month, Jupiter is going to transit your first house. I was just looking because there's something I wrote on the top that I, for some reason, oversaw. But maybe I was not supposed to say that already. But I wrote down, don't abandon your goals this month. Very important to stay focused. Something will be revealed to you. And one thing that just came true. making a lot of noise uh, was a mother energy a female energy that came through connecting with a mother or a sister <laughs> just waiting for the noise to be gone but yeah focus it's back again focus okay before that I just go into it let's just see what is the message for Aries Mm. Oh, we like that. Simplicity and miracles. Look at the two rainbows and the feather. Spirit is really guiding you. You might see white feathers. I have paid attention to that so much. The past month. There's always feathers on the way. So I feel that's something that you have experienced, experienced as well. But especially with this miracles, things will just appear in front of you, like magic. Believe in the miracles. But what I want to say is that the first house is also the mask that we carry. It's the first thing that people see when they meet us, when they talk to us. So you are going to focus a lot of on how you portray yourself and it's in, in, interesting because we did have the focus card a few lot of you guys are actually portraying yourself in a new way there's also something happening with your body because first house is ruled by the body i just saw 13 13 with that so mm -hmm. there's a goal happening when it comes to your body weight loss or becoming stronger Becoming fitter, healing something linked together with your body. That's also, especially when it comes to knees. For some reason, I had something with the elbow as well, so there might be some healing going on with the elbow. Or with the ankle. Ankle, knee, or elbow. I feel something is being healed. But obviously, the body, you know, it can be wherever, however, it can be. Something inside of you, obviously. A long time illness that is being healed. And you have been hiding yourself because of something you carried emotionally. Because sickness is a sickness in our body is connected with emotions a lot of the times. So pay attention to what is happening and don't you can don't hide away don't shy away don't abandon your dreams after the 10th of may we have jupiter and jupiter is ru the ruler of your ninth house and your 12th house which makes you enter into a new circle in your life 
And I am smiling because that spirit made me look at the miracle cards. I feel there's something linked together with your destiny, faith that you are activated, that you have activated, especially when it comes to this energy of the mask that you're wearing, the new mask you're wearing, I want to say, because I feel like you have changed the way that you portray yourself. But some of you guys, you might need, you might need a little push to be like, okay, I can show myself in this light. I am beautiful and strong and I'm brave and I'm confident and I can do this. So that also makes you actually step out there and show yourself in a complete new way. The focus is also on personal growth, on self-development. And like I said, with the first house here, you are going to be able to accomplish a lot of goals when it comes to your body. So pay attention to what that is. Obviously, for some of you guys, it might also be something with hair, or your teeth, or uh, your eyesight, or something like that. Because for me, the body is in its whole, right? In its whole. <laughs> That sounds so wrong. There's also something about a new spiritual journey. Like you're discovering a new side of yourself. You're discovering an ability, especially when it comes to spirituality, when it comes to, I want to say mindset manifestation for some reason. Mindset manifestation. Maybe that's something you want to work with. Something you want to teach other people. But mind, mindset manifestation was what I heard. Yeah, but you just you are discovering a new a new side of yourself, and I feel that this has something to do with something spiritual. It's something that's being activated when it comes to your higher mind. You are so conscious. I heard so conscious with everything that hap everything that happens. You see things, you feel things, and tomorrow we have Venus entering Aries. So again. Going after passions, going after uh, going after moons. Okay, going after goals. <sighs> yeah, I realize that sometimes it's it's a bad idea for me to sit in front of a window because that I get so drawn away <laughs> from everything that happens out there. But I am also very connected with nature as you are i heard so maybe that's something that will help you a lot take a walk if you feel like you're being caught up or you feel if you feel stressed or if there's something that's becoming too much take a walk because that's going to cool you down yeah especially if some you feel like someone is stepping on your toes so the 12th house it always gives us the truth always so realize it's something that is changing in your life with your mindset about the truth which is interesting with a message that comes or will come out in the daily reading the 3rd of May so there might be something here but you're also closing the door to someone for good and this gives you freedom and I actually wanted to take a card for that just to see what this is about but it came in very strong and powerful, which makes sense because I feel like you're really activating something with your Aries, no matter where you have it. I have Aries North Node, so I always resonate with Aries reading because obviously North Node, right? By the way, I just saw Cancer, so I wonder if there is a Cancer that you're letting go of. Something that has been holding you back. Like you're speeding ahead because obviously the chariot is movement. But it's very, you know, where before there was a lot of things that you were looking looking for or having to decide on. I feel it has something to do with the spiritual um, upgrade, a spiritual thing that happens to you when it comes to your higher mind. That makes you be like, that's it. That is what I need to do. This is where I need to go. This feels good to me. <laughs> this is so interesting. We, sp we speak about that, right? And look at that. The hanged man has this like light bulb 
light going on and the hanged man has a lot to do with things that also because he's reversed so that actually makes even more sense but all the habits that we need to let go of sometimes when the hanged man is reversed there's still some old habits that we do need to let go of but with the three of wands i really feel that you're going out there you are Maybe there's something about moving, moving away from something that has been holding you back. It's what you have dreamed of, but there is this energy of... Something else has to be let go of that... It's like this energy of, you know, leaving your family. Or leaving, like leaving a city or a country where your family is, because again... Uh, family is everything right and then having to go somewhere else where it's far away from your family so it's hard to leave that part it has that kind of energy might not be what's happening but i just wanted to say it it is you dreaming uh, manifesting what you have been dreaming about for the longest of times and i feel like you're going to work together with a lot of people meeting new people again it gives you freedom whatever you're leaving behind if it's a person or a situation or whatever it is so the other thing that I wrote down for you is there might also be a long-term travel situation. Here comes the travel coming up. And when I was writing this down, I heard someone say, plan it, plan it, write it down, put it onto paper, plan on it, check out flights, check out where you can stay, where you want to live, visa, whatever it is, plan it. You will have this feeling of faith <laughs> um, playing a big part in this, which again, ta -ta, everything will become very, very simple for you. Like sometimes we make it very hard to manifest things because we make this plan in our mind where we say to ourselves, I need to make this step before, I need to lose weight, I need to <laughs> buy those shoes, I need to, you know, do this, I need to wipe my teeth, you know, all these things. I like making things complicated for you to go out there and do it. Like, ooh, I need to be more brave, I need more confidence. What if you already have that? Simplicity. Simplicity attracts miracles for you. Yeah, a lot of people will be attracted to you. Again, you meet people that see, they feel like they are like very faith, 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 how do you say that? Yeah, like, faith is connected to things and people this month. So I believe the last thing, yeah, the last thing I wrote down for you is your energy, your Aries energy of taking risks <laughs> this month will be filled up stronger than ever, my dear Aries. So this also means um, think twice before jumping from a cliff, before... <laughs> Hiking in dangerous areas, driving fast, doing crazy things, think twice. Yeah, don't drive like the devil, think twice, I heard that, think twice. And the last thing is make sure that you are open to new discoveries, new experiences experiences that you might not have be, have been used to in the past for some of you guys i feel like there is this like experience coming in with a person and you might not be the best at being <laughs> romantic so that might be a new discovery that yeah like something inside of you is like oh this person triggers something romantic in me um saying that while i see <laughs> Saying that while I actually see the Page of Cups and the King of Swords, yeah, the two of wands. Yeah, something is being triggered in you. You discover something new about yourself, or so a new thing you can learn. I mean, whatever it is. But now that this is here, there might be something with the air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, or um, a younger water sign, there might be water and the rising sign of this person, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, because there's also a lot of cups here. There's also a Taurus staring at me, so that might also be something, but that don't give up on your goals. Don't back down from your goals. Um, 
there is a lot of offers, a lot of new things coming your way. Simple things, simple mir miracles are coming your way. Don't be afraid of taking risks. If someone asks you, do you want to go and just travel with me? Do you want to open a business in another country? Obviously, think twice. That is also something you should do. <laughs> Um, yeah, just think twice, but if there is someone who's reaching out and who wants to help you um, Don't be afraid of looking deeper into it because it will spark something inside of you And I feel that is going to be the message and the reading for you for May for the next month ahead So I really hope that you could use this let me know in a comment below and if you are in need of a private reading, healing session or removal of blocks, all information is down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.